Hello everybody. The for today we're gonna be talking about what for honor needs most. The um, story mode gameplay in the background is bad. The first 15 minutes of the for honor story mode is by um, IGN. The uh, link to their channel and the video will be in the description. So you know, like that up. You know, maybe like the video. That's probably what I would do. Be good little boys. Subscribe to them as well. All right. So we're, we're like I said, we're gonna be talking about what for honor needs most. So we've seen normal, you know, kind of eh, updates, you know, new seasons, new heroes, we, you know, we, we've seen quite a bit of it, we've seen the, our, you know, share of good and the share of bad, but, um, after, since we just got the season 7 and, and we're, um, just saw the, uh, Valk and Warden rework, we're at more of a point where we're just trying to fix stuff up before going into a new season, well, I guess in Marching Fire, uh, season 8, they'll have the new gameplay, you know, Nice new breach game mode, so that'll be very cool. So, but what they need to focus on after that, I believe, is just a kind of like a really fundamental part of For Honor, in my opinion. I think that there needs to be something else added to story mode. And I'm going to share what I think it should be. And... Um, Maybe some fundamentals around it, you know. Anyway, so, what I think it should be is, I think it should, it should just be a storyline involving Dobbiny. Just Dobbiny. His entire life, what he's been through, every second from birth till his death. It, it would be a very long campaign because Dobbiny never dies, he, because he never loses, ever. You think he lost to Holden Cross? No, he didn't lose shit. He didn't lose shit. That warden, not useless. Useless. Actually, well, well, not quite useless, but I mean, there, there, there's a theory going around that Dobbiny actually planted that warden into the Blackstone Legion to make it fall apart because he knew that the morals of that warden didn't stack up to the Blackstone Legion's lack of morals. So, you know, he, he was decided to be very smart. So he decided to, you know, you know, I'll, I'll plan him in there. I'll, I'll lose the battle on purpose so that people, because Zobany is very self-aware. He knows he's in a video game right now. He's a god, all right? He knows this. <laughs> Jeez. He, he knows he's in a video game. So basically what's happening is he lost to the AI of Olden Cross on purpose so that he could disassemble the um, the Blackstone Legion from the inside of this game that is not real. It's for our entertainment purposes. Dobbiny is God. Dobbiny is trying to keep us busy and entertained because he's a very good person. And by person, I mean fucking Lord God, unstoppable force of boner jams and cool armor. <clears throat> so, it'll be focused about how Dobbiny was the very reason that Apollyon's Blackstone Legion fell. It didn't have anything else to do with the Iron Legion. It didn't have anything to do with the Warden. It didn't have anything to do with Holden Cross. It was all Dobbiny. All Dobbiny. This theory is supported by the fact that Dobbiny is Dobbiny. And in the description of Dobbiny's character, it says that he's a very smart and intelligent individual and knows how to make very good choices for himself and others. So, that kind of backs up the theory and that he's a very smart individual and a very smart individual would know what they're doing and since Dobby is a very smart individual he knows what he's doing that's what I'm trying to get at here so you know you see you see the mission here where you go and you have to defend Dobby's castle but Dobby doesn't care what happens to his castle it's just a thing it can be replaced it's just a stone structure that protects him and all of his people so, he uses this as an opportunity, because Holden thinks that, he, you know, Dobby kind of cares about this castle, so he, you know, he barges in there, you know, fucking just butt rapes everyone, but Dobby just lets it happen, he lets it happen, you know, you know when someone's getting raped and they just say, let it, let it happen, and normally, they don't let it happen, but no, Dobby let it happen at this very moment, because he knew exactly, it was, it was a worthy cause, so, you know, he lost the war and the best person in his army, but he didn't care. Because he already briefed the warden. Fuck, Jesus, saying this out loud makes me want to commit and die. Anyway, he already briefed the warden on what was going on. So that's why the warden kind of accepted it. 
and you know before he went you even see the um it, it'll come up soon but you you see the um seal of approval that Dobney gives the warden you know when he kind of like when he's given the sword you 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 get the C. the like the, the warden kind of you know stops for a second and looks at Dobney and Dobney is you know he's all like yeah go on go on you know what you're going to do you're going to destroy these guys and then yes they were destroyed the end fuck oh my god makes me want to die saying this i sound so retarded but i know it's true you know only 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 rick and morty uh watchers will understand what i'm talking about only they can understand how intellectually inclined i am to believe that Dobbany is god even though they say that there is no God, there is God, and that God is Dobbany. They're just trying to hide it because the world can't handle the truth. So, you know, we're, we're, we're going to watch the uh, Warren gameplay, and I'm going to... Well, not Warren gameplay, but gameplay, and I'm going to turn up the volume so that you guys can actually hear it. We're going to see how it supports this theory. As we see here, this warden is just fucking mercilessly slaughtering these poor innocent soldiers. And uh, Dobney knows that he's the most skilled person in that army, and that's why he uses him for his own gain and advantage, and to help the people. <laughs> We see here that this warden is, has the ability to assess the situation and make a proper decision in split seconds to go and destroy the archers, you know, the, the, to murder their ass, you know, sho shove a fucking broadsword up their ass, fucking killing them, you know, so that's what he's going to, that's, that's what we're going to see here. It's not the warden's fault that he's doing this, it's the player's fault. He just had to take a moment to assess the situation a little bit more and then make a proper decision as we see here the player doing. As we saw there, we saw Dobbany mind controlling that warden because he is God. That's why he stopped. That is exactly why that warden just stood around there and took the hit. It's because Dobbany wanted to make it easy. <laughs> they beating us indeed well it's because Dobney the power of Dobney on anyone's side it could, it could win it always wins <laughs> The fall of the last sanctuary in Ashfeld. 
A thousand years have passed since then. That Our ancestors done, held see? out for six years again. You see, that is exactly how it's done. Dobbiny just sliced off his head with ease. It's like a warm knife through butter. No resistance whatsoever. It's a hundred thousand desperate stars. So the story goes. Still ready to fire. Dobbiny. Four Dobbiny is too fast and powerful. The battering ram will end this fight. fight that will soon erupt into a not fight you know it's just like David versus versus Goliath and the obvious Goliath except he doesn't lose and holding cross is obviously David because well he's an underdog and except he will not win here Dobby always wins these warriors don't have to die trial by combat right now what? Fight you? That's not a trial. That Some people find it sad that I've memorized every single line in the first mission of this story. In fact, I have memorized almost every single line of the Knight's Chapter. All, uh, uh, including the uh, Samurai and Vikings. Not as much Vikings. Knights first, then Samurai, then Vikings. That's what I've memorized first. Because my brain has memorized it by accident. I didn't even mean to fucking memorize it. It's like French class. I didn't want to memorize it. I didn't mean to memorize it, but I fucking did. That's an execution. And I only it got a 75, but whatever. Then fight my second. You! You will be my second! All right, then. And here we see Dobney's master plan coming to w just tying up all the loose ends. It's going to work. 
you can just you you know you know it can work because he's you know he's bringing the warden to fight this guy he knows the warden is way more skilled than this guy because he was personally trained by Dobby of course obviously <laughs> Jesus <laughs> anyway so you know he wins and he gets taken to the legion because that's that that's how he knows that cross operates because operates because Dobby was originally in that re uh, legion the you know the Blackstones and then he deserted it. So he had experience with Cross and Apollyon, and it, it, it's even said that he was one of the brave individu individuals who actually stood up to um, uh, Apollyon, and he went to make his own uh, legion, the Regal Legion. If I refused, there would be a slaughter. plan full circle it's finally done it it is finally perfectly orchestrated and it will happen Dobby knows it will happen this was the key pivotal moment of his plan if if, if the warden had failed Dobby would have um, had to use his godly powers and just fucking smite all of them yeah kneel before Dobby <laughs> fucking like Darth Sidious lightning except fucking instant kill just one one it's like a fucking Thanos a snap just Except lightning and fucking murders everybody. So that's pretty cool, I guess. We were still at their mercy. It will not do for a knight of the Blackstone Legion to be defeated by a common mercenary. Some people may think that Dobney is cowardly. He's not cowardly. He's putting on a show so that people will think that he's cowardly so that he can just spring up and just fucking murder everybody. Kneel. For valor in battle, for honor and service, I, Holden Cross, raise you. Stand, Knight of the Blackstone Legion. The fire that is in the front of the screen right now is symbolizing what Holden has just done. He has spelled doom for the Blackstone Legion because Dobney's plan is coming to effect at this very moment. It's it it's not a fast plan. It is a slow, methodical, thought out process. And Dobney knows it. <laughs> We're finished here. Come on. And we see at this very moment, the warden looks over at Dobney, and Dobney is giving him the seal of approval. Good job, son. Go on. Kill them. That's basically what Dobney is telling him. Y you can see it in their eyes. <laughs> yes, in their eyes. Very great. 
Yes, you can see their facial expressions, as you see here. You know, the helmet covers it, but I can see through it. I know exactly what's going on. They can't fool me. I know exactly what's happening in this very moment. That was how I joined the Blackstone Legion. So, you know, you know, like this video, subscribe to IGN, you know, and, uh, yeah. So, basically, to recap, we need a For Honor story mode segment all about Dobney and his life and how he thought of this plan and how he perfectly executed it. Just like all missing details. And any, any, any real problem that happens, Dobney helps the warden from the shadows. Because Dobney is a fucking god, as I have said many times. Anyway, so, um... That's just my thoughts on the Dobbiny theory and what For Honor needs at this moment. As you can probably tell, this was a satire video, except for the Dobbiny is God part, because Dobbiny is my God, and he is a beautiful being. Anyway, uh, have a great day, enjoy life, let Dobbiny be with you, for Dobbiny will save you. Uh, yeah, see ya.